Hi, my name is Patrick Desjardins, and today we will learn about what is a lookup type and when it makes sense to use it instead of having a separated type. A lookup type is a word that might sound intimating, but it actually means that we will extract the type from another type. You may have your brain thinking that it is similar to type of, but the difference is that type of returns the type of a variable while a lookup type is extracting a type from another type. In the current code, we have an interface, house, which has a couple of fields. We are instantiating a my house variable of type house. Then we use type of from the variable and we get a type for the address that needed the instantiation of the house. On the contrary, the my type 2 is built directly from the interface. Also, type of as a keyword, which is type of, but the idea behind lookup type does not use reserve keyword, but instead use types and the square bracket. First of all, it should not be a substitute to have a well-separated type or interface. It is always clearer having a name that describes the fields than using a lookup type. Here, it is an example of a type that needs to be separated. You could use the lookup type to extract a portion of the former type, but refactoring is the ideal solution. I will first use the lookup type as the parameter to the function. We can see that it is an advantage of not creating a type, and if the former type change, it will automatically be updated for the function. The function is using a parameter that has a type of the main type with the square bracket to the underlying desired type for the function. Inside the function, the parameter let us access all the field of the portion extracted. We can rename without issue as well. Now, let's change the main type into many types. As you can see, looking at this main type house is now cleaner with well-described inner fields. Looking at the house is quicker with only three fields to have in front of us. We can reuse the interface to the function, the address interface, without having any consequences. It is the same result, but in clean code. So when to use the lookup type? The question is valid. Managing your type into specific interfaces or types should always be your first reflex. Then, if you need something generic and more dynamic, the usage of lookup makes sense. In other words, if you can extract into types, do not use lookup type. If you cannot, then lookup type is the way to go. Let's see an example of when a lookup type makes sense. For example, if we want to extract a type of a generic type, it would be impossible to create an interface or type for all possible types, hence the use of generic. But how can we get the type of a type that we do not know? By using lookup type. In the following example, we are returning the value of an object by specifying in the first argument the object of type T, which is generic. It can be any kind of of type. Then the second parameter is a string, but limited to the field's name of t. But what is the returning type? The returning type is the type of the field that we see specified in k. So to get the underlying type, we need a type of the field which use the lookup type. The returning type is the lookup type tk. This scenario is impossible to build with type of and impossible to build without lookup types, since the generic type of t is unknown. Similarly, another example is when creating a type from another kind by modifying the former. Let's create a type that takes a generic type and add read-only to all its fields. This is called the map type. The lookup is needed as we return the type T of key to get the type that needs to be read-only. In the example, we can see that the function that returns the type read-only T, which loop all fields and add the read-only modifier. The loop returns the type t key, which is the lookup. We can see that it works below, with the ID being not changeable. So now that we have determined that lookup type use case, we can get into more specific properties to extend our knowledge on the capability of the lookup. 
First, we can pick up any fill, even if they are from an array. In the code, we see that scholar fill or object are easily accessible directly with the name of their parents that own the field. We can use the same recipe for an array, which return an array in the type, or use the index zero and get the type inside the array. Second, we can look up for unions of type, which will give your union of type as well. If we use the square bracket with the string in the union, it will give us the string and number for this example. The union idea is how the lookup work with the key of, which returns the types that is the union of the two selection, meaning numbers and string. In the example, it will return the same as the previous example, since we are looking up for one number and two string, which is simplified by the union for number or string. If you want to have all the fields from an example, we could use lookup with the in to loop the field of the address object and return the field type for each field. This is similar to the previous example with read only, but suited for the address object because we are not relying on generic. In conclusion, we learned that a lookup type is useful when we are in the situation where there is no obvious way to access a desired type. Mostly will be related with generic functions or generic classes or generic types. The usage of lookup type to extract potential type is not a good practice and should be avoided. Instead, we should separate our type into small, cohesive and auto-descriptive types. Please consider subscribing to receive future videos on your YouTube homepage and to like this video if you found the content interesting. See you soon.